Hello Libra, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 7th of May. This week sees the sun continuing its journey through a very deep and passionate part of your scope, the 8th house. This is psychological but it's also explorative because it can help us to delve deep within ourselves to understand the strands and motivations that we have that perhaps are not ordinarily very obvious. Because you're very articulate, sometimes people can perhaps get the impression that nothing in life for you is any problem at all. It's a breeze. But of course, with my Libra and Ascendant, I know that despite the fact that we may be diplomatic, often there is a furnace of emotion going on out of sight. The fortunate thing this week, however, is that the Sun is forging a fantastic angle to Pluto. Now, as we've seen since the turn of the year, there's been a lot of charged up energy in your fourth solar house, which is where Pluto is, and of course, along with Mars and Saturn at the current time. So, something could evolve, and it's about how you view your sense of security, or how you view some kind of deep connection to another person. You can, in a more practical way, do something positively around a property situation this week. However, if a relationship situation is still not quite playing out as you would like, the combination between Mercury and Uranus in your opposite sign and their square with Mars in the sign of Capricorn is much tougher. If you think about it, your sign is cardinal, so therefore it's a leader sign, but then the energy created by Mercury and Uranus is also in Aries a leader sign, as is the, the Mars, Saturn and Pluto location of those planets in Capricorn. So the T-square that's forged here from your sign does suggest some potential for some stubborn standoffs, some frank exchange of views. Mars can be quite reactive in the fourth house. It, it can be frustrated, it can be impatient, a bit bad-tempered at times. And because Uranus is a speak now, I will speak out, I will not be held back for my viewpoint type of influence in the sign of Aries and has Mercury alongside, I feel that if someone is being a little bit unfair to you, you're just not going to soak it up without a response. And you could find yourself much more outspoken than perhaps you usually would be. But that's not necessarily a bad thing if you can articulate your ideas well. Now, in fact, there is a quarter moon on Tuesday in your sister air sign of Aquarius, which is squaring up to the sun. So if there are some jealousies and possessiveness or control issues around a close relationship, those can feed into this narrative that's been stirred up by the rebellious pair for this Mercury and Uranus, which will see you saying, no more, I'm not having this. But that's where the transformation can come in. Perhaps you do need to speak up. Perhaps this is all about boundaries, and your tendency to be such a people pleaser needs to be addressed even more to reinforce your fortifications so other people have greater respect for what you give, and then have more desire to give back to you and meet you halfway, which is all a good Libran wants, fairness. So that may be something that all boils up this week. And with your ruling planet Venus also, in a very intense part of your situation. It's one that really is seeing you want to have the kind of life and the type of relationship you really feel you deserve. It's giving you a sense of pride. It's seeing you being less available to accepting second best. So this week may be tricky in some ways, but it can also see you come of, uh, come evolve into your own skin, take control of your situation, in a very positive and life-enhancing way. It's been a real pleasure being with you. I'd love it if you would like or comment on this video, or if you've yet to do so, subscribe. If you have subscribed, and you would like to know when my videos are released, on the top right-hand corner of YouTube, there's a little bell. You can activate a permission there, which will tell you when they come out. But for now, good luck and goodbye. Thank you for joining me. If you'd like to know more, please visit my website at www.patrickarundel.com or download my free app in iOS, Google or Facebook at 
www.horoscope-ace.com. Thanks and goodbye.